How's it going everybody? Just in time for a new game and probably the first video of many, many sessions of this game because it's the new roguelike, people who made Dead Cell. That game I put over, like 300 hours into just because of the amount of content they keep up pumping into it. But this is the new game, it's early access. I'm hoping they put as much care into this game as they did Dead Cell. And this might just be the game I commit to for off stream gaming for a while just until I 100% it, probably during early access release and any other future DLC they, they pump into it. So I did play the demo, which was uh, like a month ago, I think. I wasn't going to buy it early access, but then they promised all like, if you play the demo, you get this skin. If you play, if you play in early access, you get this Dead Cell theme skin. And I was like, oh, I need Dead Cell theme skin. I w wasn't going to until I saw it. Because when I, this game was coming out, I was like, they gotta put a Dead Cell skin in. And they did, just not for the character I was thinking of. We did get the intern, which is those little guys that carry around the bag and dead cell between biomes. I'm probably gonna play as this guy just because that's the new skin and that's the one that got me to buy the game actually. And hopefully they don't do any more of these like early access skins until the game's actually out. I, I don't wanna have to revolve my life around these skins, but I had to get the dead cell skin. So I'm gonna start with that one. Again, I love this picture. I got this picture immediately as a wallpaper after the demo. Awaken. But yeah, I did delete my file. I'm going to do the whole first playthrough again. Or first run again. Join me. There he is. The character that got me to buy the game. The skin that got me to buy the game. But yeah, the first... De the demo takes you right through the first biome. Once you get there, it's like, you're done. And just boots you back to the, the hub. So I'm probably going to play at least up to when I finish the first biome, when I get back to where I was, and that'll probably be the end of the first session. After that, it's all new. But again, the dash, this dash is so good. It looks like just, just normal dash until you get to platforms, then it's just blasted. It's so smooth. It's so nice. They did fix some of the text here. How do I get back to that? I'm not a fan of the menu here still, but they did fix like, not fix, they adjusted the text just cause like crits are yellow with little symbol and everything now. But watch this dash. Oh, it's so smooth. Oh crap, okay, terrible start. Now the first run, like you're, you're expected to die just because you have nothing to work with. The first death, you don't really lose anything. But we'll see if I can at least fit, get up to like the first boss in the first run. Or I guess during the tutorial, whatever you want to call it. But the dash is, the dash is what's going to keep you in this game. It's so smooth. Oh, that's a bomb. Like as long as there's those moments where you're just dashing non-stop, that's going to be so fun. It just feels nice. Can their bombs hit each other? I don't think so. Gotta check for any secrets. I'm not seeing anything yet. But yeah, this guy does still carry around the bag from Dead Cell. It's slightly smaller bag compared to what he used before. Feel faster for some reason. Oh, look at this dash. It's beautiful. Okay, first upgrade. Hey, wait, you're not a sentinel. We used to be like you, if I remember correctly, but things didn't end well. Seems to be broken, a shred of memory ha haunting this mineral. If you like, we can help you leave this cursed place. We can share what's left of us with you. Might be to serve you initially, but hey, it's better than being trapped here forever, if you ask me. Please choose me. Don't only absorb one of us. No me. Don't listen to them, take the one that will help you the most. Uh, I'm quickly going to check the settings here. Audio sounds a little low for me. I'll go 110 for that. I might have to change it on my actual speakers, but we'll see. High five, what do we got? Kills, activate brutality. How many kills? Provides bonus damage for non... for duration, non-stack, only the most potent version is applied. How many kills and how much brutality? Uh, ignores the first hit in each biome and become invincible. Randomly mark a nearby foe every three seconds. 
I'll go with random mark. Definitely didn't see any of those in my first playthrough. Well, my during the demo. So there's some new stuff, hopefully. Or I just got lucky and just never saw it. Uh, Katar's backstab. How much stronger are they, though? 88, 80. Okay, they're slightly better. Hey, wait, switch. There we go. Okay, music's kicking up now. Uh, I don't know what any of these mean yet. We'll go left. <laughs> uh, it's a ball. Where is its back? I'm assuming it's behind the cannon. Uh, pick up this glowing rock. High five. Oh, that's a rabbit. Uh, two marks merge into a stronger one that deals 50 damage. When the team unleashes a mark, damage nearby foes. Weapon trinket damage 6% against isolated. Sure, we'll duelist. I'm going for backstabs anyway. I gotta check behind waterfalls every time. No, not yet. I got little emotes for when I play online. Just four? Yeah, it looks like just four, right? Oh, you got a little dance even. Oh no, he's just emotes. Okay. Alarm, please don't destroy me. BF Forever is a pacifist model. Please have a friendly attitude when using BF Forever. BF Forever is here to help you. BF Forever can start at your request code. Peace missing. Warning, the operation is irreversible. We hope we have met your expectations. Take care of friend. Okay, he shows up when we get back to the biome. Or we get back to the hub. Oh, wait, check these waterfalls. But yeah, this dash. Oh, so smooth. Ooh, this is new. What was that thing? Uh, I don't know what it just did. I'm hoping it took my resources to be safe. Like, don't lose them on death kind of thing, or it, I just paid a fish for something. I'm not sure. Oh, that was his back. I thought it was looking right at me. Can't, it's a robot with, like, gears. I couldn't tell. Anything else? Waterfall? No. Oh. Nothing. Okay. Okay, good to go. Go for the back. Go for the back and the one that's alone. I feel like he's got a little speed boost. If it's similar to like Dead Cell, where if you keep a spree spree going, you get a little boost. Anything behind? Uh, I can even see behind this waterfall. There's nothing. Just draw every jar, a little bit of cash each time. Probably can't go behind that waterfall. What do we got? Talk to the rabbit. Who was he? Oh, Death Orb. Okay. So, new unlockables for when I get back to town. Now we got another chest. Ah, oh, deals damage to nearby targets. Okay. We got the trinkets now. Uh, from what I'm thinking, like, I think the chest should be stick out a little more. They just look like a like a black box. I think they need to like have a little shimmer to them, I'd say. Just so it looks rewarding. It doesn't look inviting with the way it looks right now. Whoa. For some I'm trying to dash multiple times. I know I can't do that. I need to stick to platforms if I wanted to be able to do that. 50% HP. Yeah, I'm trying to... Like, if I'm near a platform, I can double dash, sure. But I can't do it every time. I just want to keep dashing. That's all I want. Oh, it tells you, okay, what is this? 
a boost. Okay. Critical damage, attack speed, shells looted by the team. 10%. Yeah, go attack speed. Just do basic stuff right now for the in, like this isn't a real it's like tutorial run. Just wait it out. Can I dash over there? Not yet. Anything around here? Got trinket ready. Oh, he got me. Okay, not looking great health-wise. There's a whole world over there, though. How do I get... Behind the waterfall? No. Yeah, way over there. No, oh, wait, where'd he go? Yeah, all of that. I want to get over there. Health isn't looking great. Yeah, we're still going. Anything over here? Nope, no secrets. I wonder if we'll get shields in less like in Dead Cell. And then it just comes like a parrying game. Oh no. Oh, wait. No secret. That's such an inviting waterfall. Come on. That's obviously a secret should be there. Oh, we got some vocals now for the... Whoa! Oh, it slowed me. Do a quick collab for third strike, 160. I think the Feather Sword is going to be the most, like, iconic weapon for this game. It's in the trailers, like, it's in the intro, like, I think that's just supposed to be, like, the staple. Oh! What'd he say? You Leaper, do you have a Pulsar? I was cleaning the inside of my cannon when the lid snapped shut. Then boom, I ended up here by mistake. Is he an owl? Uh, please help me get back. There are golems everywhere. I'm scared I might lose my feathers. Did you knock me... Oh, he's a parrot. Could you knock me out? One good boom will do one trick. I know it sounds weird like that. I tried to launch myself from a couple of cliffs, but my head is too tough. Let's do it. My rescue fish will activate its fins and bring me back home. Go ahead, I'm ready. Give the bird a good knock on the head. What's with the little fish? Well, I didn't... I didn't even attack him! Okay, I guess it just happens after you talk to him. Oh, the guy's got some, uh, background under... He's got a marker under his... Like, that marker underneath him. Oh, right, these. Get rid of all the bombs. Just to be safe. What's he doing? What's the marker beneath him, though? That's new. There we go. Got achievement. Probably we're just killing first boss. Heavy blade. What do we get? High five. Two marks merge into a single one that deals 50. Kills actually brutal. I don't know. I don't think I've noticed the marks. I don't think like there is brutality yet. You know, the first hit on each biome, eh, I'll go with the marks. Okay, no healing yet. You unlock healing, like, once you go back to the hub. Is this anything? Nope. Ah, okay. Good to go. Wait, no, we're not. Some things to break. Get any little bit of cash that I can. Okay, there wasn't much here during the demo. Can we talk to people? No. Can we talk to anyone? That's a barrel. No. What about this guy? Come on, that guy looks like you can talk to him. 
Uh, grenade, throwing explosive towards a foe. Raven blade. Held jump attack. Finishers apply freeze for two seconds. Goo bomb. Flicks goo and damages foes. First hit against the target deals 120. Uh, I only have enough for basically one. First attack, first... Ah, uh, get another trinket. There we go. Okay. There's nothing else I can do here, right? No. You can't talk to anyone. There's the fish. Oh, you can't move on unless you dump everything into the fish. Okay. I didn't notice that. Why did they change that? Just hold on to the money. New biome? Yep, new biome. Reach the factory for the first time. Okay. Guess we're at a factory. Ooh, listen to that music. How come I can't attack? I can't attack. Uh, what's happening here? I can't attack or use items. Are you supposed to die? Maybe it's to mark that it's a boss. That lo that symbol beneath it. Well, I want to explore the factory. They're making me die? Okay, I'm gonna die. I can't do anything else. I'm, I'm pressing everything. All I can do is dash. I'm just gonna assume you're supposed to die. Nothing I can do. Got an achievement. Probably just for dying. Oh no, Pietro. Rescue Pietro during the expedition. Okay. That's it. Kyle is back. I'm here, master. Ah, him. Another new crew to train then. Hush. Keep it down at last. Give them time to get over their emotions. They're only just come back to life. He's gonna throw up. There we go. Hey, you puked on me. Can kill is an easy digest. digest. I'll get the mop. Welcome to the Ark. My name is Pyrian, head of the village in the Leapers Guild. You seem to have fully recovered. Our Makaba sure knows how to work miracles in the infirmary. See that thing you're wearing on your back? It's a pulsar. I don't know where you got it, but it's linked to your soul. If that fault allows you to come back to life here on the Ark, you're very lucky. Only those linked to a pulsar have the privilege of becoming a leaper. Leapers, first and foremost, are here to help the people of the Ark. They bring back precious resources such as cogs found in the vortex. I will show you if you show willingness to help the Ark's inhabitants, I'll make you a new recruit. For starters, can you see Kuprik to the west? Apparently, one of my princes brought him a sentinel golem. Don't worry, it's totally harmless, but we can't get it to work. Make it your. You'll be one of us. What do you say? We're still be working with Makaba. Before you go, take this flask. It might come in handy. Okay. Repair. Okay, I got the flask. Kaba's bark. Builds a flying bark to store in Kaba's collection so you can change your appearances. Tempting. Receive a starting weapon. Yeah, go with that. I don't think I'm changing class, changing skins. I have the dead cell skin. Like, I'm happy with that for now. I don't need to change anything else. Anything else I can do? Oh, I can afford both of them. Okay. I'll buy it, but I'm not going to use it right now. Yep, that's all. Kubrick and the Sentinel Golem are west of here, so you can't miss it. Uh, the red icon makes me think there's something else I can do here.
Locks an altar in the Ark, allowing you to train using a weapons. That's... tempting. Okay, now it's gone. Hello, young Leaper. I'm back with a fresh load. You wish you can change bodies. Yes, yes, you heard me correctly. Resurrection machine can return you to a body of your choice. Do is choose one of my findings. Uh, okay, don't need any of that. I'll stick with the intern. There's the parrot. Thanks for helping me out earlier. You can take care of the cannon for the Leaper teams again. The note, could you leak? Can you look? Would you like to look for a team? You might get further by collaborating with the other Leapers. You're doing a group, climb and can name the Vortex and boom. Uh, no thank you. Do not need a team right now. First let, let's like finish the game, like the base game once and then look into multiplayer. Found some cogs. That'd be worth one upgrade already. <laughs> There's that fish. I want to know what the fish is about. It took all my money. Okay, this golem is driving me crazy. You're the newcomer, I'm Kubrick. Charger storing all the Ark's broken things, but this damn golem resists me. I've tried everything, but it seems to be missing a vital component. Perhaps you can find it in the vortex. To so seek the same model and grab the part in question. Very curious to see what this golem is all about. Hello, hello. Hi, friend, your read error pacifist code peacemaker. Piss, peace missing. Recovery attempt. Booting error, assistance required. Missing original venture core. Friend forever is offline. Did I collect it? Okay, I guess not. Anywhere else to explore? Secrets? There's one. I don't think this leads to anything, though. Probably unlock more people. That's my guess, at least. Okay, not much else to do here. Pretty much the same as the demo. I feel like when I played the demo, I think I got his core and then I just never came back. I think that's as far as I got. Okay. Begin. Look, here's Vomito. Vomito. But they gave you your first mission after you got blasted by the Vortex. What's more, you don't even know how to use the cannon. Ruffle Mao. So simple, you just have to get into it. See, as you only have two brain cell. Ah! And away he goes! Never to be seen again. Oh, just follows with him, okay. I'm hoping they add more wallpapers, like more than just that image. As good as that image is, I want to see more. Like of the other three characters kind of thing. Okay, so this is further than I've ever been. Or I guess not, maybe I, I did play, I got his core and then just stopped playing. But now I got the flask. So, if I do find the boss, I want to get to the factory again. I want to hear that music. Okay, so you do get another dash if you go over a platform. That's good to know. So just fight around edges like... Or I guess not that one. This is how you would fight. Yeah. Well, I gotta test if you can do, like, tack, tack, dash, through... Okay, good. So you can, like, cancel the combo and just keep it going. Once we get really moving, you gotta need that a lot. I'm wondering if there's, like, a perk to dodging last second. It said dodge. I'm wondering if it's like slows down time for a split second. That's what I thought happened during the demo. There was no tutorial in this game to explain if it does happen, but it does look like it. I'm hoping, hoping that when the game gets going, they have the DLC, like they have the full game out, that there's like a hidden Dead Cells reference biome. That'd be so good. Like the depths or uh what were, I forget what they're all called. They're what all the areas are called. The the sewers, the depths, uh slumbering sanctuary, that would be a good one if they keep the music. Uh let's go attack speed. 
Like, just give us one dead cell biome, please. That'd be so good. Oh, here he is. Well, alarm, please don't destroy me. BF forever is pacifist model. Please have a friendly attitude when using BF forever. Forever is, BF forever is here to help you. Size your requests. Wait. Our rest is reversible. We hope you have met your expectations. Return the venture core. Okay. I got the venture core. Got it. I guess. It just looked the exact same as BF. Here's the fish. Send your discoveries to the Ark. Okay. I wonder why they did this instead of just carrying them till you die or not. Like, why can't we bring this stuff to our ourselves? Oh, well, can't open chest unless everything's dead. Oh. Oh, pick it up. Burning trinkets. Why do I feel weaker than last time? There we go. Okay, grab the chest. It's just cash, okay. Break any urns I can find along the way. Ooh, that chunked him. There we go. It looked like it stunned him almost. Collect everything I can. Okay. Did I miss any secrets? Any paths? No. I'm trying to use the thumbstick to look around the, with the camera. I know that's not a thing, but I just, I'm trying every time. It's the 3D aspect. Like, I'm trying to look on the other side of this platform kind of thing. Is that just a centaur with like a cannon for a head? Oh, I thought I would die with one hit. More of them? Ooh, got him. It did stun him, okay. There is a stun system here. Just looks like it has to be like a threshold of damage, maybe. Maximum health, damage, uh, I'll go health. Just to be safe. You never know what could happen. Especially for 50, that's like 50% boost. No waterfall secrets yet, though. Ooh, good chunk. Oh no, bad, bad chunk. Uh, two crew against burning targets. Last strike applies burn. 75. Oh, I was using the fish knife the whole time. I forgot that I got the Raven Blade. Crap. Uh, I'll try both. It feels like this has like a charge move to it. It doesn't, it just feels like it should. Okay, there's that. I'm going to switch them, just because there's a bit of range to it. Like, this can be a projectile. I'm a mage at this point. Get, a, get the mage class going in multiplayer. <laughs> oh, this is much better than the meat cleaver. Why wasn't I using this? More cash. Good to go. Oh, health last recharged. Don't need it. Now that I think about it, can I get over there? No. Now that I think about it, there's less secrets in this already than what there was in the demo. I remember going through a lot of waterfalls. It could just be like chance. Like the gen the generator isn't dropping me in the right ones. Like, I remember going through so many waterfalls to find any secrets. Nothing so far. I 
Actually, how does the Raven Blade work again? After the third strike. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's a secret. That's... Yeah, let's call that a secret. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this secret. Ow. I don't like being a mage even. It's too slow. It burned him. Okay. Uh, Katars, backstabs, deal crits for 88. Uh, it's better than this, but I like to have a little, like, I'd like to have the range option. I'm tempted. Just for the multi hit, like, it's way more hits. Follow the wind. Did I miss anything while I was here? No, nope. so I bet you're gonna be able to cash these in, like, for money. Like, I'm expecting, like, everything from Dead Cells is gonna translate into this game somehow. Eventually. Can we just not fight them? Oh, they're coming. Oh, crap. Anything else? No. Whoa! That wasn't even a backstab. Whoa! Ow! Goo bomb! Is there a secret over here? No. There's a chest over there. Can I? No. Some waterfalls. Nothing. Come on. I want that chest. I've already to heal. That was bad. Okay. I want the factor. I want to hear that music. Anything around here? No. Nope. Okay, here's that boss again. Get the back. That was a good chunk. Get rid of all the bombs. That doesn't really do much. What? Oh, I was on top. Okay. Scared me. I thought I was dead right there. No, the first hit. Eh. Weapon trinket damage first time while near your target. Makes sense to always have that. Random mark a nearby foe every three seconds. 40% more damage. We'll get this. Hit blast. Again, just break every urn you can. Find every little bit of cash. Can we fill the flask? Feels like we should be able to do that right here. Oh wait, I didn't even notice all these. Come on, get some get some spa water for the road. Is the fish gonna be here? Oh no, not yet. Guitars, level three. Real damage 80%, brother damage 40. Ugh. Do my basic ones have that? No, okay, he's level two. Uh, throw out explosive foe. Deals damage to nearby targets repeatedly. Spawns a scythe for eight seconds. Health last recharge. Ah, uh, no. I'll go with this. 
Now, I was able to put money towards it. Like, you, as long as you hold it, it was dropping money into it. I'm wondering... Can you, like, pay a little bit on each and keep moving? That looked like I could, like, deposit some money and come back later. Here's the fish. You got a lot out of that. Anything else I can do before I leap? Not really. Okay, good to go. The factory. Get to listen to that music again. Okay, now I can attack. Ooh, that melted him. There's the scythe spinning. I think it slows down time. Or slows down reality when you get a last second dodge. Unlock ultra, ultra attack. Use one weapon until the mark appears. Oh, it's this attack, okay. There, ooh, spread shot, okay. And the backstab, ooh, nice, that was huge. This is where it makes bosses. Oh, I was hoping you can grind the rails, see what's over there kind of thing. Okay, these are new enemies. I didn't even notice the chest. Okay, it's a good thing the marker goes on. Anything down here? This wind is too strong. I don't know what that means. Probably early access to limbo lingo. Kill all the little guys, look for any cash they got on me. Oh, this music. Oh, it's instant crits, too, when you do that. Yeah, that's all crit shots. That's cool. Cursed hits. I could have done that faster. Like, look how smooth that is. It's great. Oh no, there's a hole. Go back, there we go. Well, good, I thought it was a one-way trip. I was really worried I just skipped a whole bunch of fights. Whee! I want to try doing the other way with the Assassin Blade second. I think he just runs if you're too close. Gotta wait till the laser goes off. Okay, big hand. That's clearly a fight. Probably mid-boss, maybe. For a second, I thought it was going to talk to me. Oh no, my face! I guess my whole body, too. Uh, finishers play freeze. Deals crit after third. No, I think I'm okay. 182, though. It's more than double the guitars. Uh, I gotta do it. It's way too much damage. So I want to see what the Raven Blade does. Okay, just big spin move. 
I may regret this. I do like the Katars. Wait, can I go through that? No, I can't go through the hole. Okay. Nothing. Chest with bombs. Working our way over there eventually. The wind is too strong. This is going to be something later. Either I have to unlock something or it's early access. They're working on it still. Oh! I thought I had time to switch weapons when I get the altar attack. More cash. No secrets. Can't break any of these guys. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I know there's a path over there. I know there's bombs. There's a chest. There. Okay. There. Here it is. Oh, okay. Follow the wind? Ah, uh, sure. Oh. I'll take the cogs. I could die any minute. Just get rid of get rid of the shells, get the cogs. That looks like boss territory. I keep thinking these little guys are gonna attack me. All they do is run away, but every time. Oh, laser got how far can the laser go? Well, okay, got the chest. More cogs. Wow, a lot of chests around here. I feel like for a future skin, there's gonna be some kind of robot. Like some glitched half-built robot is gonna be a character. That's what I'm feeling so far. This altar attack never comes out. There, finally. That was a lot of damage, actually. Uh, maximum health, 25. Like, that was at least 500 damage from the cane. Here's the fish. Here you go. And away he goes. Golden apple. Uh, for 215. Um, 50% of 175 is like 86. So it's full health for all my cash. Nah. Here, looks. this looks like a boss. Oh, so much damage. Good thing you, you have invincibility during the altar attack, too. Oh, that didn't come out well. I'm assuming this is an elite. Got the freeze on him, too. Shells looted by the team. Maximum health. Critical damage. Yeah. No health. What's next? I think that was supposed to be a lead, like if they're shimmering like that. And the fact bombs are dropping. Oh, I thought those were enemies. I feel like I've missed like two paths dashing through here. That was a big area.
Yeah, all that thing does is run. Stay close to it, it'll never shoot. I got it. Oh, that was a good shot. I was worried for a second. I didn't expect everything to die from it. I don't want to fight yet. Oh, wait, I found a secret over there. It won't let me go over there. Oh, my face. Uh, replace Goo Bomb, okay. Oh, I think it, that wasn't a path. I think they just camera glitched out. Yeah, okay. I thought I found something. I feel like there would be secret walls in this and everything. Uh, okay. <laughs> Stuff's off cooldown. Oh, everything's dead? <sighs> oh, no! Ow! No! I kind of went ham there. I should have just kept the laser to keep teleporting. Okay, saw some new stuff at least. Saw the factory, saw some new enemies. It's the first, a first good session to this game. <laughs> Got further than the demo. Okay, so that's probably a good spot to stop for this one. Next episode, we'll go back to the factory, unlock a few more things, and just keep trying again. Try and get to the ending of the factory, see the boss, and then see what the next biome is. If there is, if there even is a next biome, who knows how long this early access is. So I will see you guys next episode, and thanks for tuning in.